Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Aditya. Welcome to the series FMG High Yield. So the topic for today is going to be fluids of choice. Well, there are different disease conditions given over here. Let's look at the IV fluid of choice for each one of them. Firstly, there is burn. Well, as you know, in burn patients, there is excessive loss of sodium, water and proteins and hence we give them ring lactate solution. And then in the case of diarrhea, there is electrolyte imbalance and hence we give them ring lactate solution. Then for vomiting, we usually give normal saline. In the case of sepsis, we give crystalloids. Why we give crystalloids to sepsis patients is that crystalloids can actually prevent the sepsis patients from getting into a septic shock condition. And so crystalloids would be the fluid of choice for sepsis patients. Then there is DKA, that is diabetic ketoacidosis. For diabetic ketoacidosis patients, we usually give normal saline. Why we don't give RL to diabetic ketoacidosis patients is that RL contains the lactate and lactate can be converted to glucose and hence can exacerbate the hyperglycemic condition of these diabetic patients. And so it is advised not to give RL to diabetic patients and hence we give them normal saline. Then in the case of sweating, there will be dehydration and so we give them half the normal saline. Then for head injury patients, it is always advised to give hypotonic solution more than the normal saline. Hypotonic solution is 3% NaCl. Why hypotonic solution to head injury patients is that hypotonic solution acts as an osmotic agent and extracts fluid from the swollen cerebral tissue and thereby reducing the intracranial pressure. And so it is always advised to give hypertonic solution to head injury patients more than the normal saline. Then HRS, hepatorenal syndrome. For hepatorenal syndrome patients, there will be usually low serum albumin and also ascites. And so we do parasynthesis usually. So simultaneously, we also infuse albumin. And so what this albumin does is that it will prevent the reaccumulation of ascitic fluid after the parasynthesis is done. And also, it also gives a good blood circulation to both the liver and kidney. So albumin is the fluid of choice for hepatorenal syndrome patients. Then along with blood transfusions, we usually use normal saline. So that wraps up this session. We have covered the IV fluids of choice for different conditions. Thank you for watching.